This is an update to my video review for Transformers Alternators Rodimus, or Hot Rod. That also applies to the Mirage uh, version of this mold. Now, in the review, I talked about the chest like this. I think it looks pretty good like this. And it locks the chest in fairly well. It only moves up and down. And even up and down, it doesn't move uh, too much because I cut little slots into the uh, sides of these orange pieces that fit over the uh, side of the uh, chest plate. But, <clears throat> that modification is a bit hard to get exact enough for it to work. And indeed, even on mine, it doesn't work that well. It just works well enough. But, in playing around with this figure, I figured out a another way to transform the chest. That does require a little bit of modification, but a far easier mod to do exactly right. That makes for a very, very nice chest transformation. To do it, untransform the chest all the way. Those of you with a keen eye, you can probably already see what I've done. And those of you who own the figure, you might know what I'm about to do. Fold these out. And the reason why I had to fold these back in is because otherwise, these and these bump together. Fold this back down, like this, with the uh, hood piece down, fold these over the uh, inside of the chest plate, uh, if you're not careful I won't push the other around like you saw, and then fold this over, and this alone already looks quite good, and limits the up and down about the same as the uh, notch mod I talked about did. But you get this folding down, which, well, it still locks about the same amount, actually a little bit less, because these air intakes bump up against here. But there's one thing you can do, and it requires cutting out notches in these red pieces here, so that they can fold forward all the way around those orange bits. And they will come forward and lock the chest way into place. And the way it's done, it's doing this is that, for one, the wrapping around the chest plate up here so it can't bend forward, and for two, they are pressing against this uh, chest plate down here, the uh, pelvis plate. Um, this isn't perfect, especially since this will move around a little bit, just uh, especially if you move the legs forward. But for the most part, this is a far superior transformation of the chest. It flattens everything else out very nicely. It holds everything nice and securely. And just has a much cleaner look to it. And in fact, with how perfectly it fits together, like with how these wrap around the chest plate and block this from going up and down. I mean, look at this. This is solid. I almost think this was intentional. Not that I made it into the final design without modification, but that this was, at least at one point, the design they wanted to do. That's what this feels like to me, just because of how well it fits together. Now, to do this mod is very simple. I've shown you the specific transformation you need to do, and the specific cuts you need to make. You need to make a, a triangular cut into each of these red pieces here, and it's very easy to see exactly where you need to cut. On the inside edge of this hinge, follow that line down until it meets the uh, top side edge line of this hinge here. So it's very easy to see where, where you need to cut, and it's easy to see when you're done. And once you have that, voila! The only problem is that on mine, this one is loose, so it doesn't grip as well as it should, but this one is very tight. So it does a job that this one can't do quite as well. And yeah, that is the modification. It works very well. I'm glad I did it. And the only thing to watch out for is scratching the paint off these orange pieces because it's not the strongest paint and it is kind of a tight fit getting the knife in there. And yeah. This has been an update. Thank you for watching.